Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and our Reading Royals had a pleasant good day yesterday, as this is the latest edition of the Royal Take, as they finally were able to get a key victory and close out the homestand with a bang, beating those Wooster Railers and beating up on them as well by a score of 4-1, to one, as Tomas Ebbing goes off again and scores two goals. Absolutely stud. There, uh, Peyton, or Jacob Pritchard, excuse me, um, called him one of their captains the other day. He's basically the captain of the team, even though uh, he's obviously not listed as that, but he wears an A, but that's obviously high praise. But when you have guys, the depth of this team, Frank Achara ripped one, uh, Braden Lowe, beautiful goal, and then Ebbing, of course, sealed the deal at 17:42. Even though the deal was already sealed at 3-1, but he made it 4-1 to at 17:42 of the third. This was a game that the Royals really controlled through and through, and that is exactly what in the pregame lines were it seemed was the message that wanted to be sent: control the game from start to finish. And the Royals did a very good job at doing that. And Logan Flodell did very well. Um, that one goal. It happens. I mean, there was nothing on him there. That was just uh, Spets was able to have a, make a play, and uh, he made the play, and he and he got it in. But I think Logan Flodell had a huge bounce back, and I think it was a perfect decision by Kirk McDonald to go back to Logan Flodell because it seems like he's going to be the number one Kahuna, especially if Usti remains up, and Usti's also apparently nursing something right now. So it seems he's going to be the top dog, Logan Flodell. He beat one of the best team, actually the best team in the league, Utica. Um, when he was up in the AHL, so he obviously already is really building his resume. I think it was smart to go back to him. He had a great game after a bad game Saturday, and low, Achara and Ebbing carried the team to a win, and obviously all three of those guys are the biggest leaders, the biggest, um, like basically captains of the team, all of them that are the guys that that just pick up everything by the bootstraps and put it on their shoulders when really needed. And that's what the Royals needed here after five and six days, eight and ten, this ridiculous uh, run that the league has them on, that now they finally have a break until Friday. I would presume not practicing until midweek. Um, and then they're going to get back to the grind and get going again. But it's great that this team finally gets a break because that's what they need. I mean, they're gassed. I mean, you you can't expect a team to perform at an elite level like the Royals have done most of the season when they're playing five and six. It, it, it's a it's a sport that there's a lot of contact, a lot of just bumps and bruise injuries, and not even like real like like stuff that that aches you obviously, but doesn't cause you to come out of the lineup. And if you're playing in five and six, well, that's going to feel a lot stronger in the in the fifth game and the fourth game than it did when you actually have days off in between like most seasons. So I think the league kind of just put them in a tough bind. Yes, it was a COVID season, and and and, and it, they did it with the whole division. And I feel bad for the whole division being in that bind of playing so many games and so many days, 9 and 11 uh, or um, 8 and 10. And it's, it's just an absolutely ridiculous feat to expect guys to do that and also to stay healthy. Like, it's, it's, it's not even safe for player safety when nowadays they preach player safety. But anyway, I'm off of my soapbox. This has been a reaction. The Royal take to the 4-1 to win that the Reading Royals had, closing out the homestand against the Wooster Railers as our next opponent is the Trois-Rivières Lions in Trois-Rivières, Quebec, which is going to be the first through the third next weekend. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Hope you enjoyed the latest edition of the Royal Take. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy to use widget to keep us growing to 215 or more by the end of March. Have a great and safe, pleasant day, everybody, and peace out.